This is Redbeard, and in this adventure, why I bought a Honda Goldwing. So back in uh, 2017, if you've uh, watched some of my uh, other recent videos, I talked about doing the Tour of Honor. Uh, when I did that, I had my uh, my 300, my CBR 300R. I bought in uh, I bought brand new in 16. It's a 2015. Uh, that's uh, another story. Uh, but that's what I was riding. I had been riding that for a, a bit, and I was enjoying it thoroughly. And decided to do uh, not just the Tour of Honor, but I decided to do it as the what they call the Tour of Honor Saddle Sore Extreme. So that means I did all seven sites in the state of Oregon uh, one time, and I did a thousand miles. Uh, so that got me into uh, the Iron Butt Association. Uh, but while I was riding that, about uh, halfway in, I was coming back from Enterprise, Oregon. Uh, heading uh, west on I-84, and there was a horrible headwind. Now that's pretty, that's pretty typical for 84. So I was riding and and pushing and fighting and drafting a semi just to get down the road. Uh, I decided I need I needed a bigger bike. It's like if I'm going to be riding these kind of miles, I need a bigger bike. So that was that was 500 miles into it. Uh, the rest of it was easier once I got back on uh, the west side of the Cascades. Uh, the wind wasn't as bad. I did some smaller towns, uh, but I still knew I needed uh, to get a bigger bike. So I started looking. Uh, I looked at uh, slightly bigger bikes, uh, like the um, the Honda Interceptor. So that's a I that's an 800 cc, a test road that thing. And that seemed like a perfect bike for me. It was um, kind of like Saunas. Saunas is my uh, 300R. Kinda like Saunas, but all grown up. Uh, good bit of power. Some touring ability. I was thinking that was probably the way I was going to go, but it's kind of spendy for what it was. Uh, so I, I just I kept looking. I looked at the Ninja 1000. I test drove the Suzuki GSX um, S1000F. Um, so that's an S, not the Jixer. It's a more of a touring, sport touring kind of bike. Uh, I kind of narrowed it down then to uh, to the. Uh, I looked at quite a few other bikes, uh, but these are the ones I, I was real serious about. Um, I kind of narrowed it down to the uh, the Kawasaki Concorde, which is a 1400, or uh, or Honda Goldwing. Uh, it's just like those were like the the two top of my list uh, because of the uh, what I read about them, how comfortable they were, the power that they had, the ability to to tour. I mean, everybody knows the Honda Goldwing. If you want to get on a ride, Honda Goldwing is the most comfortable thing. Uh, the Concorde is known as a Oh, how, how did they put that? Like a, a continental ballistic missile? I mean, it it, it is good for going from from uh, city to city, state to state, coast to coast. Uh, so those are the two I narrowed it down to. I found uh, I found two used ones uh, up in Vancouver, Washington, and I went up there and I set up the test rides and I, and I rode them both. And um, I, I really like the the power that I felt out of the Concorde, but um, I didn't like how top-heavy it felt. Uh, so then I um, I was kind of leaning toward the Goldwing. The one they had there, it had a custom seat that did not fit me, and I can't remember if it was a ABS or not, but ABS, I think it was, but ABS was very important to me. In uh, 2008, I, I had an accident that I believe ABS would have prevented, and so that would have been a a little less time in the hospital. So anyway, um, I kind of narrowed it down. I didn't want either one of those, and there was a less expensive Concorde at a local uh, dealership. I say local. I mean, all this is kind of local. But at Motorsport Hillsboro, uh, they had another Concorde. I, I decided to look at that, and I'd seen online they had this beautiful yellow gold wing, but it was a base model. didn't have the ABS. I, like, I got to have the ABS. And uh, so I was there, I was waiting for the sales guy, and while I was waiting, I said, I just, I got to look at that yellow gold wing, just so beautiful. And I walked over there, and I saw on the side, it said ABS. Evidently, they had labeled it wrong online, and I feel like they labeled it wrong for the price. The price they got it for was basically the base model price, or uh, it's the blue book uh, trade-in value. So it's a 2010, uh, with a, it's a level three, so audio comfort. Uh, ABS, satellite radio, navigation, all that on that one bike. 
Uh, so the, the things I was thinking of before I saw that was I could get the uh, the Kawasaki Concor and I could buy it and then I could put all the stuff on it I wanted, but then the price would be about the same as the Goldwing. And the Goldwing already has everything I want on it. Uh, the only thing they don't come stock with is uh, foot pegs. This is a used or highway pegs. Uh, this is a used one, and it had highway pegs on it. So it had everything that I knew I wanted on it. And uh, so I, I bought the thing. I mean, it had everything. It was, uh, it was a 2010, so it was a little more than what I wanted to pay, but I knew, hey, it's a 2010. It had like 48,000 miles on it. It's like, this is a deal. I had been looking for the Concorde, looking for the Gold Wings all over the U.S., trying to find the right deal. And uh, this was the best deal I found in, in the U.S. Uh, so if you want if you want a Gold Wing, you want to use one, uh, look around. You'll find them. Uh, the new ones are, are nice. I've not test ridden them. I sat on them. I pr- currently prefer the uh, the older one. Uh, one thing I did like about the Concorde that the Gullwing didn't have is some of the technology. And the new ones have, I think, the same technology now. Um, but it, it had everything that I needed. It allows me to uh, to travel far. Uh, shortly after I got the thing, I, I went on a uh, a long tour around um, the U.S. and Canada, I guess you could say. I did, in uh, 30 hours, I did about 1,600 miles. So that's the Bun Burner Silver. And I did that on the stock seat and all this. I still have the stock seat. I've ridden cross-country all these times, still the stock seat. That's one thing I love about these older gold wings. Is the stock seat is perfect for me. I don't have to buy an expensive aftermarket seat. Uh, another beautiful thing about the gold wing is it's got a great following. If you want to add some kind of aftermarket thing, somebody's either already done the modifications or has already made the part so it fits perfectly. Uh, so you can easily follow along. Some of the other bikes you might look at uh, not necessarily used as much as the Goldwing. And the Goldwing is also, I mean, they've been making the thing since, 75, the model that I bought, um, I basically made from 2000 or 2001 on until the, the new one in 18. So the same model for that long, lots of parts out there. Uh, these engines, these engines are supposed to get like 350,000 miles before you have any trouble, and I've heard people go much farther than that. So, I mean, that's hard to beat as well. So right now I have uh, about 91,000 miles on my bike. So, and no troubles at all. I change the oil, I do the regular maintenance, and it's not giving me any grief. The only problem I had was I had to replace the battery, which is still kind of a normal maintenance part. So I would say if you're interested in in, uh, comfort, if you're interested in long distance, uh, please check out the Goldwing. What an amazing bike. What an amazing bike. I've been enjoying it. I mean, as you can tell, I've put over 40,000 miles on it in the, uh, what, two and a half years I've had it. Um, I've been, some of that time, about six months of that, I wasn't able to ride at all uh, due to illness. So I love to ride this Goldwing. I'll go wherever, whenever on it. I uh, do try to avoid the snow. That is one thing, these bigger bikes, um, slippery conditions are not so good. On my 300R, I could uh, I could ride in a little bit of snow, a little slippery. I could uh, keep it up, uh, but uh, the bigger bikes, even though the Goldwing has a lower center of gravity, that thing starts to tip. It's tipped. Uh, I have no idea how like the Concorde would be with uh, with a different center of gravity. I mean, it is lighter, but it's still a little heavier than most people want to pick up. Uh, and the Goldwing is also designed to tip over. So when it tips over, it's got uh, it's got these bars on it, so it doesn't fall all the way over. It hits these bars, and then it's easy to pick up. There's lots of uh, videos on YouTube showing you how to pick them up easily. Um, you see some uh, smaller people picking them up. Uh, I will say that um, it doesn't hurt to uh, to keep up your squats, uh, both to keep the bike up and to then pick it up. Uh, so I have made sure uh, throughout the time I've had the bike that I'm, I'm doing my squats. Uh, a little 300R, maybe not so much. Uh, again, I guess you could say you're less likely to drop the little 300. I have had uh, a more serious wreck on my 300, but it had to do with a uh, uh, a design flaw in this uh, flyover ramp. Uh, the Goldwing, I, I've dropped it a few times. There's a video down below. 
uh, when I dropped it once, on, and it was on camera. I've dropped it a few other times, and they've all been at, at low speed or, or no speed. Well, this is Redbeard. Until my next adventure, see you on the road.